सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स वन मीनिंग ऑफ सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच विल हेल्प यू ड्यूरिंग ऑल लाइफ इट हेल्प टू अचीव द गोल्स मैनेज टाइम एंड ऑर्गेनाइज लाइफ सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट इज द एबिलिटी टू प्रायरिटाइज गोल्स डिसाइड वॉट मस्ट बी डन एंड अकाउंटेबल टू कंप्लीट द नेसेसरी एक्शन comprehensive self management involves four realms physical mental social and spiritual in the future the need for quality self management will increase as more work will be done remotely requiring leaders and employees to possess this valuable competency positive results of self management self management skills include the following self awareness self control self confidence goal setting problem solving positive thinking manage time self motivation team work personal hygiene and grooming self management skills there are three keys of self management skills initiative organization accountability initiative initiative is being able to work without always being told what to do organization being organized will help you not just at work but in all aspects of your life accountability accountability and responsibility are similar if you see yourself as a person who is accountable it means that you can take responsibility building self management skills at school will help you in following prepare for big events like exams help you get a better balance of work study and relaxation help you get more of your school experience by volunteering ideas and time self confidence self confidence is a feeling of trusting one's abilities and self it describes an internal state made up of what we think and feel about ourselves qualities of self confident people self belief hard work positive attitude commitment who is a confident person a confident person does what they believe is right even if it is unpopular a confident person is willing to take risks a confident person admits their mistakes and learns from them a confident person is able to accept a compliment a confident person is optimistic strength and weakness analysis Sometimes you are good at mathematics and you get 100% marks in it but on the other hand you lag behind the other students in other subjects like English where you score not more than 80 Have you tried to know the reason of your weakness in the subject of English Knowing what are the reasons of not doing well in other subjects such as English will help you in converting your wellness into strengths and strengths into an exceptional performance the strength and weakness analysis helps you in this process strength and weakness analysis begins with knowing yourself first knowing yourself it is of utmost importance to know yourself because only then you can measure your strengths and weaknesses 
it means understanding of who you are what you like what you don't like what are your beliefs what are your opinions etc factors that help in building self confidence there are many factors that influence self confidence these factors can be social cultural and physical social factors society has its role in building and shaping our self confidence our society starts from our family and comprises relatives friends neighborhood school workplace and other people our interactions with society have a long lasting impact on our attitude and we start thinking accordingly cultural factors culture is a way of life it comprises of language religion and specific lifestyles culture includes all the norms social rules symbols traditions customs methods of doing things beliefs rituals and interpretations of a particular society community or group of people around us physical factors physical appearance of a person has a direct relationship with self confidence physical factors like good health and physique healthy mind good appearance good dressing play an important role in developing self confidence of a person it is important to maintain good hygiene and physical appearance do not rely on unrealistic image of beauty it has been seen that persons with disability excel even better as compared to the other people for example who can forget stephen hawkins stephen hawkins was a british scientist professor and author who performed ground breaking work in physics and cosmology and whose books helped to make science accessible to everyone living with motor neuron disease with more than 50 years stephen hawkins transcended his disability to becoming one of science biggest stars harnessing technology to once again give voice to his ideas he overcome his disability and fought every day against the time with his great will and desire building self confidence the following steps help in building self confidence appreciate achievements if you can think about your achievements so far they give you a sense of worthiness everyone has their ideas of excellence it is important to discover what you are good at celebrate achievements when the team wins any competition accept failures failures are also part of life when there is a chance of success there is a chance of failure too if you fail in achieving something articulate learning and note those points which have led to failure be your analyst too build knowledge knowledge is power it is one of the keys to confidence a person who lacks knowledge can never be self confident have a goal have a goal to be achieved make sure that the goals are small so that you can get into the habit of achievement and celebrate your success more often and feel more confident always look at the good side and be happy one must value the present that we have in our hands instead of wasting time regretting over the past moments